everybody. So I'm gonna try a huge haul video. I'm not sure if it's gonna work or not because you know, dogs and it's a really bad time of day, but I'm gonna attempt it. I'm really gonna try. So I've just received a rather big order from a cherry on top. And um, one of it is all of my Marigold pre-order and then I ordered some of Vicki Booten's Storyteller collection. So I thought I'd give you a nice up close look at both of these lines um, and then see what you think. So let's start with Vicki Booten's Storyteller collection. First thing you need to know, this is not the full collection by any means. I have a love-hate relationship with Vicki Booten Collections. Um, I always enjoy her elements and her icons, but everything is really dark. And I know I've said that before. Um, and I also feel like a lot of her collections mix together, go well together. So if you have a lot of other collections of hers, you can definitely like grab stuff and go and mix stuff together. Especially in, for me, I have a ton of field notes. I loved that collection because it was not super dark. Um, I feel like her lines are very, very dark. That being said, I ordered some of the Storyteller collection and I'm gonna go through what I ordered and explain to you my ideas as to why I ordered what I ordered. So that if you are looking for a way to have some of this collection, but maybe financially you can't get it all or, um, maybe like me, you don't want, want it all because you need to supplement with lighter, brighter colors to um, like her lines, then this might be the video for you. So starting with embellishments, I did order the puffy stickers and I ordered two of them because they are stars and they're gold and they're puffy and they're just fabulous and I love them and actually, this is what started my need to buy some of this collection <laughs> was because I saw the puppy stickers and I was like, oh, I need those in my life. So there's actually two sheets of puffy stickers in each pack. So you're getting 40 puffy stickers per pack. I have bought two, so I have 80 fun puffy sticker stars to play with. I also ordered two of the thickers. They are chipboard, so they're not gonna stick and I'll need that extra adhesive. They're called decoupage, but they're bright and they're really nice and fun. And again, I have boys and I love them. So I went ahead and ordered two of those. So let's talk papers. So I went through the papers and I had a goal in mind. First of all, the puffy stickers and the florals in this collection are what caught my eye and made me go, you know, I feel like I better get some of this or I'm going to have some missing out, some FOMO going on, right? So I went through the papers and what I did was, was I chose papers like this that I can fussy cut one sheet, right? So I'm gonna take this sheet and I'm gonna fussy cut the whole thing and that will give me lots of extra embellishments. And then I have a sheet that I can use as a pattern paper or as a background. So this one is called Plot. And then I also have this fun, these fun branding strips that I can play with too. Next one that I purchased was this one. Again, my goal in purchasing this paper is to fussy cut. I'm going to fussy cut this entire paper and then I have a second one that is also light and bright um, to use as a background. And that's how I went through this collection. I chose papers that I could fussy cut. And then if I liked the back, I went ahead and got two of them so that I had one to fussy cut and one as a background. So that's what I did. I went through this entire collection, one to fussy cut, one to have as the patterns, and I stayed away from things that were very, very dark. I got two of these gorgeous gold foil on printed vellum because circles and I can fussy cut these. You're going to hear me say fussy cut a lot as I go through this because that was really my whole purpose. So I got two sheets they both may end up getting fussy cut or I might take a hunk from one. I'm not sure, but I wanted them both because again, these were kind of lighter colors. The gold foil is gorgeous and I can fussy cut them. 
I got two of these. Yellow. You can see I kind of went with the yellow, right? <laughs> the yellow and this dark purple. I really kind of stuck to that color story in the collection. And um, you'll see in a minute why, why I kind of did that. I really, I really thought through my purchase of this collection. So I got this yellow one and then I got this one. Now I'm not sure that I will fussy cut these daisies, but they were really pretty and I felt like I would use both sides of this paper. And again, kind of light in color. So I got one of these because I can fussy cut all these flowers. And then the other side kind of pulls in some of this greenish um, teal color that comes in the kit. It, that's in the collection, so I liked that. I got this one because I have a lovely idea for like kind of fuss, cutting part of this out and, and um, making a school layout for one of my boys. And I just, I really like this as a background. And then I also really liked the other side because again, it's a really easy paper, but it can also be, say it with me now, fussy cut. <laughs> if I wanted to use it for a traveler's notebook or something like that. So that's what I got. And once I fussy cut these papers, I'm gonna have a good amount, right? And it didn't, it wasn't a large investment money wise, right? So once I fussy cut this one, this one, this one, one of these vellums, I'm probably not going to fussy cut the daisies, and then one of these. Like I will have a good amount of embellishments that I can play with the rest of the collection. And then I can also, if I want, pull in field notes or color kaleidoscope because I do have both of those collections hanging around in my studio. Okay, so that is what I chose to get from the Story Keller collection. And then, remember how I said it's important to remember that I went with this yellow and this kind of purpley color. A lot of the collection has those in it. Because I then went ahead and got myself two coordinating Catherine Polar colors. So I got sauna and I got sangria and this allows me, if I need more embellishments for any of my layouts I create, to pull in from my stamp stash to create some more layouts and have coordinating ink colors. Okay, so that's my plan for Storyteller. Now, I purchased this. This was not um, part of my uh, design team because, you know, I am part of the Cherry on Top design team. Um, I purchased this. This was my, this was a purchase that I made. Um, so it won't be part of my design team layouts, but I'm going to kind of put it off to the side somewhere and I probably won't work with it till November. I think, I think that's what's going to end up happening really because I have my October products and my October collections I'm working with already kind of pulled out and off to the side here. So, um, probably you'll see these, this, in um, layouts with it in November. So another thing you're gonna see in November, and this is my design team collection. So I focus on one collection for them every month. October is Simple Stories So Cozy collection. I've already started digging into that and making layouts. And so this one is Maggie Holmes Marigold. And this will be for November as well. Now, I don't have everything. Some of my marigold is still on back order, specifically the puffy stickers and my six by eight paper pad. So those will be coming at some point. But I chose to go in and split this order so that I would get these products, have them to get started on November projects. And um, once I do my design team November projects, this all will end up in my Maggie Holmes box and get mixed in with other collections and used for Maggie Holmes Monday. So let's go through the products. Let's start with the embellishments and then I'll go through the paper. So I really, really, really loved this washi tape. Um, I'm super curious as to how it's gonna work. Um, and so I'm really, I, I really, I wanna dig into it and play with it, but I don't wanna play with it too much because then I'll use it all. <laughs> so the washi tape has little petals 
and leaves. And what you do if you look on the back is you build from the petals and leaves a flower, which I think is so cool. So I am gonna play with this. I think this is a unique and fun product. I think it's different. We haven't seen anything, I haven't seen anything quite like this before. Um, I'm gonna use it up right away because I had some Primo washi tape that was like this, that was in pieces, and it went super sticky and stuck to each other really, really quickly. So just tossing that out there. If you get this, make sure you go ahead and use it quickly just in case it's gonna stick to itself and you might have problems. I got the six by 12 cardstock. So these are the ones that are cardstock stickers. So they have the white, they're not clear. And you can see all the pretty colors and icons. Really love the squirrels. They're so adorable. Um, yeah. Swans, always swans, always houses. And this is kind of what that washi tape looks like when you build the flower. This is the flower. Love the deer. So very, just, you know, very Maggie Holmes and awesomeness. I am a huge Maggie Holmes fan. I got the sticker book, which has six sheets. Again, these are the clear stickers. So when you work with these, um, it's best to use a white cardstock background or to attach the sticker to white cardstock and then um, go ahead and fussy cut it. But I really like the sticker book because of the size of the stickers. So this is where you're gonna find all these nice small stickers that you can use as little tuck-ins. And this is where you're gonna find all of your fray stickers. Now these fray stickers are not clear, FYI. These stickers are not clear, but um, the rest of them are. So the little, wait, yep, the rest of them are clear. I love these black and white stickers when she adds them because again, when you put these against a white background, white cardstock background, they pop and they look so cool. And here are lots of bows. And then there is this lovely alphabet, which is also not on clear sticker paper. But that is a really pretty alphabet with numbers for um, like subtitles. And there are no thickers in the Marigold collection. Um, at least there were none available at a cherry on top as pre-order or otherwise. So um, this might be your only alphabet. That's okay though, because I have so many thickers, I do not need more. And I just bought two packs. <laughs> There are two packages of ephemera. So I'm gonna open them up. Now I know going in, I don't have to open this. I know that this 40 ephemera, the regular ephemera pack is going to be huge. These are gonna be huge and it's okay. It's okay, I'm, I was prepared for it and um, it's all right. So we have this one that says so sweet on vellum. We have this fun ampersand. We have this camera. Also, the, going into purchasing this, I knew that my ephemera was gonna be huge, which is why I went ahead and opted for the sticker sheet, even though I was pretty sure most of it was gonna be clear stickers, but I also knew that I needed more smaller sized embellishments. So we have this vellum wreath. We have a gorgeous flower. This I really like for a journaling spot. That's really nice for a journaling spot. Black and white tag, Ace Rappel. So I have no clue what I'm gonna use with this. I'm telling you right now, this is one that's gonna sit in my stash forever because I'm not sure what I would ever do with it. I love this one. This is a really nice piece. Yes. I really like this one too. That one's really nice. And there is enough kind of open area that you could kind of fill in and use this as like a base for an embellishment cluster. I'm gonna to start to stack them on top of each other here so we can get as many in as possible. This is a really nice one for a journaling spot. I like that. Here's another really nice one for journaling spots. I like when, so I like this 
size ephemera pieces when they are done to be journaling, right? When they have the lines, because if I'm gonna journal in the layout, I really want to have a dedicated journaling spot. That's just me personally, my personal desire. I don't, you know, journal on my backgrounds or anything like that. So this one is a tag, very nice. Another tag. I'm just gonna kind of put the tags and stock them up here. I'm gonna stack them on top of this apple. I'm not really a fan of the apple. Here's another one. This is a really nice journaling spot. Beautiful tag. This is an image one, but again, because it is full of butterflies, you can start this as a base and then layer other things on top of it and still not use lose all of the butterflies. This is a house and says happiness in here. This one says, I must have flowers always and always, which is a quote from my very favorite impressionist artist, Claude Monet. If you've watched any of my Traveler's Notebook uh, videos, you know that I keep an art journal and that a lot of my art journal has photos of all of the Monets that I have had the privilege of seeing in person. Oh, here's a pair. So I actually feel like I would layer this pair card onto a greeting card, an anniversary card, exactly, because pretty pair. Mm -hmm. A little play on words there, we might use that. This is a vellum piece that says together, super cute. Banner that says love you, definitely usable. And then we have a vellum deer. So these are the large ephemera pieces. And then they've started doing this where they kind of separate them, right? Where you have the big ones at the bottom and then the smaller-ish ones at the top. So there are the smaller-ish ones. And we'll go ahead and go through those. So we have a vellum cluster of flowers. This one says, to plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow. Super cute. And I actually have photos of us planting our a garden this year, so we might be able to use that fairly quickly. Um, I have a bow. These beautiful, these are so cool. I have been loving the postage stamps, let me tell you. I've been using them in as little tuck-ins for clusters, and they work really well for that. This is another one. This is really pretty. This is like in French, and it has little text on it. These are fun. See, why can't we just get an entire package of ephemera of this size? This looks like a store receipt of some sort, and I love how the edges, if you um, would ink those up and then use it to kind of tuck in, you'd have this really nice kind of textured edge. This is super cute. Okay, so I love this because right now we're doing a lot of staying at home, right? And right now, um, I have a lot of pictures to scrapbook of us staying home. <laughs> so that's really cute and it adds just a little bit for journaling. This would be a great base for a cluster. This is super pretty, I like that a lot. But for me, this screams, put me on a three by four card and put me in a pocket for a pocket page. Just my personal thing. Really nice journaling spot. Love when there are lines and obvious places to journal. Yes, perfect, love that. This one is super cute. This one says heritage. Love, there's this here that would be perfect for just a date stamp. Like, that's fabulous. Um, beautiful, thankful details. And these break apart, so you actually have three different die cuts that have that little um, perforated edge then. We have some vellum. So we have the pretty flower. This one is awesome. Look, I like that. And it has some foil on it. A butterfly. A wreath. And another gold foil vellum butterfly. So those are the ephemera. This is the ephemera pack. So then there's another one. I'm going to pop them all into this bottom piece. And we'll just mix them all up. And, oh, I guess we won't. They won't fit like that. Okay. 
you know what? Toss this packaging. Get ourselves some new packaging when we're all done. Okay, this one. So this is the second ephemera piece in the ephemera pack in the collection. And this is called Floral Ephemera. So we have all flowers in this one. And this is cool because this is like Dresden die cuts. So we have a little bee. And a little mirrored flower. And a leaf. Some, and then two more flowers. Super pretty. These will be really hard to photograph on a layout, but you know, we'll make it work. And then there's some vellum ephemera. So we have this little butterfly, and we have this leaf, and we have this leaf, and we have this flower. And we have this flower. So that is super cute. And then we have some die cuts. These are just all flowers. So I love die cut packs like this that are just all flowers and leaves and butterflies because in my scrapbooking world, flowers, leaves, butterflies, hearts, and stars are a universal icon that can be used with anything. <laughs> I know that that's not everybody's um, thought on the matter, but it is mine. <laughs> flowers, leaves, hearts and stars. Give me all of those because I will use them no matter what the subject of my page. So yeah, these are just all gorgeous flowers. Super excited to have these. And even though that looks like there are so many, these are going to go super fast because yeah, Okay, so cute, right? All right, I'm gonna pull these aside. Just gonna pop all of those together into one bag. And let's get to the paper. Okay, I hope this isn't too long and that you're not minding this extra long haul video today. Okay, so this is Sweet Sunshine. We have this beautiful kind of plaid on one side and then this tone on tone kind of aqua and navy floral. One of my favorite backgrounds ever for any layout is a gorgeous ledger paper. This one's called Natural Beauty and it does have peaches on the other side. We'll be using this side. Love this polka dot, so cute. And then the other side is this black and white floral, and this is called Freshly Picked. But really, this polka dot is amazing. The specialty paper is, called, oh, it's just called Foil on Vellum. I love these leaves, super pretty. Like how they're sketchy, kind of painterly. This one is called Becoming, and I got two. If you know me, you know why I got two. Because this one's gonna get fussy cut. <laughs> um, you can never go wrong with Amy, with uh, Maggie Holmes wood grains. The other side, I'm kind of like, eh, which is why I only got one piece because wood grains. This one's called Happy Place, and I really like it. I like that there is this, um, like list type of thing down here because if you had something you know you wanted to lit you could do this and I also really like the design on the back of this this might be a little bit harder although you could totally cut it in half do your list journaling here and then take the other six inches and flip it over and use the black and white side see how I do that 
Okay, this is super fun and I love it. Okay, so this is foil on cardstock. So it's a cardstock paper. It has foil and it has this fun edge. It looks like a big doily. Oh, so cool. This one is called Full of Grace. Yes, I have two sheets and you know it's so that I can fussy cut this one. Love these colors, by the way. This one is called Stay True. I like both sides of this. So one, I think this would fussy cut really well, but I also really like this side. So this might be one that I'll have to cut in half and fussy cut half and use the other half on the other side. This one is called Capture This. Again, this is one that also needs cut in half so we can fussy cut some cameras and then have this pretty light pink on the other side. See, I was very good when I was shopping. I thought to myself, do you really need two of all of these papers? And I decided against it. This one is called Nostalgia. This side is really fun, but I really like this side. You know, I we just had this whole conversation about like Vicki Boone and I don't really like the dark papers. I like lighter. Um, this one is called Harvest. It's pears. I like this side. This one is called Cherish. Love this in small doses. This isn't something I'm going to use, I don't know, like as a background, but I think it's really pretty. And I also think these bees are adorable, but I want to cut them into like a strip, kind of, so that I have like a border of bees, not a whole paper. This one is called Treasured. This might be my favorite pattern in this collection because it's stunning. Love, 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 love this. And then the back is like this green and navy tone on tone, but seriously, this is gorgeous. You know how I feel about my hunter green and there is some nice hunter green in this collection, but it's on the back of a cut apart sheet and I like all the cut aparts on this sheet. <laughs> so we have some decisions that need to be made here, right? Okay. Uh, this is called Charmed. Really like this side, like this side more. And this would make a really nice background. So probably you'll see lots of this and not too many of the bows. Not because I don't like bows, but just, I really like that paper. This one is called Our Story. Um, so I like both sides of this, but I'm going to end up using the cut apart side. Maybe, um, like I might take this and then flip it and use the back of it. <laughs> so we'll see. I really, really like this one though. And I really like some of these other ones down here. This is a really pretty blue. I do like that. Yeah, we'll see what we create with it. But I like this side too. This is awesome. This one is called Dream Bag. This has like a waffle... I don't know, weavy kind of look to it, black and white. This side is, I love, love, love this side because this color palette, like I like the rainbow thing that we've had going on in the scrapbook industry right now. But if I'm going to do a rainbow, like honestly, this is more the colors I would like or the one in Amy Tangerine's Late Afternoon. So I don't like the really bright primary, like saturated colors, but I like these like jewel tones. Okay. So that's Marigold. It will be the collection I will feature in my Cherry on Top videos in November. So you can look forward to that. And um, yeah, I hope you like this little haul. Uh, if you've never visited my channel before, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button. Um, leave me a comment. I love comments. They can be good or bad. I, I don't care. I will um, say hello and reply to all of them in a kind manner, but I prefer the kind comments, of course. All right, guys, you have a fabulous, fabulous Thursday, and I will see you all again very soon. Bye.